Hello, and welcome back to the cove with more Perfect. We are here for another Flashpoint. In fact, uh, I believe this is part three of this Flashpoint campaign. So we're going to dive on in for Hourglass. This is a three and a half spell mission. Basically, our intel was right, Commander. Surface scans show that the Dobrev is moored at a makeshift spaceport near Appian's south southern pole. We can take it, but we'll need to move fast. So let's go ahead and dive on in. No consecutive deployments. This should be relatively short and we are fighting some mercenaries. So let's go on in and see what we can find and see if uh, we can get ourselves some very fancy things. All right. Okay, Commander, I have performed a sensor sweep of the planet's surface to confirm far as intel and everything checks out. The Dobrev is moored at a spaceport about 20, at about 200 clicks beneath our feet. Nice work, Doc. You've really done us proud. Don't start celebrating just yet, Yang. This is Nag. We can't move on the spaceport, at least not directly. The whole complex is surrounded by turrets. Besides, the moment the Dobrev replacement crew catches wind of us, they're going to try and run and injure themselves terribly when they attempt a KF drop. Maybe even destroy the ship. I don't get the feeling that Dr. Bauman cares about his hired help XO. The Bauman group has jumped the Dobrev before, and if we take and if we back these people into a corner, they will absolutely do it again. Well, that's certainly true. We've all dealt with Dr. Bauman. We know what kind what the man is like. We wouldn't he wouldn't hesitate to maim his own employees if he felt he could profit from it. Thankfully, I believe that the Murderborn and I have found a solution. Press the movement, I'll put it on the view screen. Uh, the Murderborn is the uh, virtual, in virtual intelligence, for lack of a better word, um, Yeah, who's helping us hunt this thing down. Alright, so, our view screen fills with a greedy silhouette of a squat boxy building complex. Ah. What you're seeing is a security post about 20 clicks north of the spaceport. If we capture this site, we can bring down the turrets and remotely engage the spaceport's docking clamp. Two birds with one stone. If the clamps engage, the Dobrev won't be going anywhere. Even the Bowman group wouldn't try jumping a ship that's blocked down to the tarmac. Now that's the play then. We hit the complex, transfer control of its computers to the motorborn, and then we move on at the spaceport. We know what we're doing, people. Let's get it done. Okay, so a solid tactical plan. That is always good to see. Uh, yeah, I don't expect them trying to jump. In fact, not 100% sure what would happen if they tried to jump a ship that is still attached to everything else. All that I can imagine, though, is that it would not be pretty. So, well, let's go ahead and dive on in. Uh, this is going to be in the desert, so we do need to be somewhat careful of our heat. But... I don't think we're going to worry too much about that. So, what do we want to bring with us today? Well, if it's a base capture, they may try and take back the base, so reinforcements are probable, so we'll keep our Stalker. The Annihilator's not a bad idea, Gunswinger is for sure, and then the question is, do we want to maintain our cycle? Now, the extra initiative is nice to have, but Rabbit is also in high spirits, so maybe we chuck him in something else. Maybe... Hmm. Black Knight's not a bad call here. Excellent heat efficiency, good amount, good number of weapons if we use a precision shot. You know what? I think that seems quite decent. Alright, let's go ahead and bring that out there. And then the question is, do we want to maintain the coolant on that one, or should that do... No, no, I think we're going to be fine. Oh, and we also have Angel in High Spirits as well. That is wonderful to see. All right, then. Well, you know what? I think that should do. Let's dive right on in. Let's not wait any longer. Let's see if we can finally forge a path to the Dobrev. That's what we want, and that's what we need. Especially, too, if it is still filled with good old SLDF technologies, we could be getting ourselves some very, very nice spoons to our... Although, uh, 
The best thing would be some of those modified pulse plays. We really, really want some of those. We could uh, deck out the uh, Black Knight even further, which I think would be good. Less heat, less tonnage, all that sort of stuff. Sounds pretty good to me. Alright, capture the Bowman Group Security Complex. As per our earlier discussion, I'm going to drop you right on top of the of a Bowman Group security outpost, some 20 clicks from the Dober of Spaceport. You're going to have to capture the site and clear out its defenses. When the job's done, the Motorborn will use the complex's computers to drop the Spaceport's defenses and remotely engage the Dober of Stocking Clan. I'd expect the Op 4's defenses to run heavy on this one, so I would advise building your lands accordingly. Alright, well, we're almost there, Edmund. Just for one more push, and the derelict is ours. Alright, that's not bad. Now, uh, I do happen to... Th oh no, we are getting 6 salvage and 0 pay. Okay, for a second then, I wasn't sure if we actually did uh, tweak our mission parameters, now our contract. Command interface but I initiated. don't think uh, we need it. Alright. Okay, Commander, I've set our lance down just outside the Bowman's visual range. The fences will probably run on the heavy side, so I'd recommend approaching with caution. Yes, but not too much caution. We need to take the facilities that, so the motorborne cannot lock down the Dobrev's docking clamp. This mission won't count for much if this ship runs off to get. Don't worry, Doc, we won't leave Mama Bear hanging, and we won't let the Dobrev escape. We can't. The rest of our mystery mech is hidden away on that ship. Well, that's the theory, and we're going to investigate it. But first, we engage the clamp. You know what to do, Commander. I'll leave you to it. Alrighty, uh, Should have brought sunglasses. Should have brought sunglasses. Well, the good news is we have the sun at our back, so hopefully as they see glare, they're not going to notice the flash of our auto cannons if we have any. Uh, so let's run. Let's run our Black Knight up. Yes, Commander. We'll get the Annihilator moving as well. A Stalker we can get outside of that rough terrain. And then our Marauder can also move. On the move. So far, so good. No signs of any enemies. Uh, it's a little way towards all of the uh, map confines. So, yeah, well, they could have reinforcements from anywhere. Alright, well, let's go ahead and uh, dive on in. I think we'll go... Hmm, do we run directly? Or do we work our way around? I think that looks like a cliff face. We're going to go around. Don't want to get cut off by the terrain. Oh, and we have contact. All right, what do we see? An enforcer and a griffin. Well, this won't be too bad for us. We have overwhelming firepower. Position confirmed. And then I think that will do. That. All right, so who goes first? All right, griffin's coming on up. Uh, that's a miss. Radio. And now Vanek. Standing by. Oh, you seem like you've got some pretty good shots there. Let's go ahead and clear up that enforcer before that thing gets to Moving the turn. Out. And uh, shoot. Let's go ahead and uh, wipe him out. Targeting for an alpha strike. How do we do so far? Uh, not quite enough. Oh, and they have a hunchback. Right. Well, a hunchback is uh, certainly to be careful. Yeah, lots of medium lasers, and uh, looks like this guy has a lot of damage reduction. Maybe we shouldn't have. Oh well. Either way, however it goes, we're going to figure this out. Uh, we need a little bit more resolve Commander. for a kill, so let's get our. Uh, let's get our Annihilator up and see if we can take out somebody. Uh, let's go ahead and rinse the Griffin, I think. Yeah, no. Uh, it is in a mineral field, so it is harder to hit. However, I think our odds are fairly good, and if we can wipe them out, we'll have enough resolve for Rabbit or Angel. So, off we go. Affirmative. Uh, oh. Alright, uh, a head injury. Pilot injury, no, nothing else yet. Okay, um, hmm. let's 
fact that enforcer is moved, we could fire up. We could fire off our uh, black knight here, which would be nice. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reserve and use our stalker first. I'd rather use the precision strike with rabbit than with yes, angel. So let's go. Let's go line ourselves up. Those odds are pretty good. That griffin should go down. Yeah. Aye, aye. Off we go. Alright, so we're going to focus on the griffin, which is very close to getting beaten up. I don't think it's going to have uh, too much health left over. So let's go. Hmm. Maybe we fire an LRM elsewhere. Maybe over at that hunchback. Yeah, we definitely want to make sure that that hunchback takes a little bit of uh, damage just to burn through some of that evasion. Make it a little bit easier for whoever comes next. All right, off we go. Affirmative. All right, left torso destroyed. Aw, oh, man. Well, I guess I stuffed up on that one. We should have gone all out on the other. I honestly am surprised that that thing is still alive. Look at that one hit point. Well... Absolute dirtbags. Alright, let's bring... Yeah, Commander. Well, I suppose we may as well take a kill if we can, so let's move up. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move on up. Have no doubt, it will be done. We're gonna go multi-target. Uh, practically everything will take out a gr this griffin here. Send a large laser against that hunchback. And then maybe a little bit against the just make sure that they have no extra evasion. So we'll send that across. A only needs, you know what? Two of them should be fine. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna risk it. We're gonna send We're gonna send a big number just to make sure that we do actually hit that center torso. And after all, we only want to strip the evasion from the enforcer, so a two shot should be plenty. Locking on target! Yep, and we did miss a few things, so glad we did turn around and uh, shoot a couple more weapons. Punchback is no longer very evasive, and that enforcer is taking a little bit of damage. Okay. It's go time. That's what we wanted. All right. Ooh, and they're moving that hunchback up first. Okay. Clearly, they've got some plans of their own. Uh huh. Uh, let's go. Waiting for orders. Well, you know what? We could take out that hunchback, or we could take out the enforcer. And I think the enforcer is going to be the play. Uh, this guy will get to go, then this guy will get to go. Yeah. We're going to try and cut down on their action economy. At 60% at that range. There we go. Full salvo. That should be plentiful. Uh, let's back on up. And let's go precision strike. Uh, we will overheat, so let's turn off two of our weapons so we're not gaining too much. And uh, even if we don't get the kill, we are going to keep them down in initiative, so it's not the end of the world. Target confirmed. Alright, how are we doing? Uh, definitely wounded. And what do they have? Another enforcer. Oh, great shot. Nicely done for them. Alright. System's holding. So, let us see. What have we got? How did we do? Man, so close and yet so far. That is a disappointment, but it is what it is. Let's grab... How might I help? Could do some good damage here. Could do some good damage over there. Could just make sure that we clean up the Enforcer right here and now. Sure. Let's go ahead and do just that. We're going to move over. And uh, we're going to go for a precision strike. Off with the head. There we go. That'll do it. Fantastic. Tango down. All right, they're still efficient. Got rid of one. And Order. now our annihilator. Let's go. What would I prefer to salvage an enforcer or a hunchback? Well, I think I'd rather salvage the hunchback if that all possible. So maybe, um, uh, maybe, 
Not gonna get an angle there. What about over here? It's uh, just just around. 75% isn't too bad. And it's all going to be the same anyway. Alright, let's just move on up. And we will target... Yeah, we're going to target the Enforcer. We're going to see if we can destroy this thing. Alright, you know what? That's fairly solid. And we did destroy a leg. That is ideal. Okay. But at least we got some free precision shots. That's not bad. All things considered, I'm happy with that. And then Angel, yeah. Let's go and uh, finish that fellow off. Copy that. We'll just go with a full salvo here. We'll go for the headshot, but I don't really care as long as we uh, take them out. All right. Also, and center is gone. Okay, like, everybody. That's good. Let's hit him where it hurts. Not much on the way of salvage, but we should be able to tank this hit. Yeah. I was uh, expecting that hunchback to go after us. Armor. That's why I. Uh, My armor's yeah. getting stripped off. Rather happy to put that assault mech right there because we can certainly tank that kind of damage. Uh, let's go ahead and I think we. Do we reserve and use somebody else? You know what? No, let's just go ahead and... Second, my game seems to have uh, had a trouble figuring out what it wants to do. Alright, let's go and uh, we'll shoot everything we've got at that hunchback. We'll see if we can clean him up here. If not, we have enough resolve with uh, somebody else that we can easily handle it. We'll chuck on one extra weapon for good measure, see if we can destroy that cockpit, and say goodbye. Come on. How we do it? No? Still just, uh, roughing him up. Right, let's What's bring the, the... Let's bring Rabbit over. Let's Can bring those machine guns to bear. Make good use of them. Oh, and it's even just within our heat threshold. Bizarre. Locking on target. Alright, come on. Uh, those machine guns were doing a good deal of work. But unfortunately, not quite enough. That darn damage reduction is really being Away annoying. Alright, well, you know what? Uh. Did we just up and destroy you? I don't think we should. I think we should at least aim for a little bit of salvage. So. What I'm thinking is. Do we go high or do we start working our way down? I think we start making our way towards the objective. Go, go, go! This uh, hunchback's got very bad initiative on the next turn, so Orders. I'm not too concerned. Uh, we can't do anything here either, so we're going to sprint our assault over here. Sorry, our other uh, stalker across. On the move. I'm not really too concerned, and it gives these mechs a good chance Hell to pull yeah. back down. So, uh, yeah, Radek, would you be so kind? Let's go. Uh, where do we want to go? I think we'll move down there. We'll still have fantastic shots. Aye, aye. Yeah, and uh, we're going to go precision strike. We're going to turn off a weapon or two. Go for the head. Come on. All that we need is one of them to land. My goodness, this guy's still kicking. Alright, fine. Awaiting Rabbit, this is why we bring you along. Ooh, you know what? That's a little toasty. Let's quickly vent that coolant. Uh, we'll get that on cooldown, and then we can come back in for that headshot. Yeah, he is toast, sure. Certainly. Come on, there we go. That'll do it. Good work, Proceed oh. to the next objective. Oh, uh... We were trying to maximize our salvage there, but I don't know if that was the best call. Uh, let's bring... Let's sprint you around and that will pull you off. Let's grab our Annihilator, get that moseying on forwards. Okay, and I've got eyes on the security complex, Commander. Take it and we'll get this go on the road. Alright. Well then, let's uh, keep everybody moving on forwards. Captain Zone is... Uh, Fairly unoccupied at this moment. Uh, let's see. With 
Okay, capture it and pacify the area. Okay, so there's still somebody lying around. Certainly. The question is just as to where they are. So let's get that annihilator off to the start Wilco. here. We'll bring our stalker up through the middle, I Got think. It. And uh, Rannick, you can go. And what? We'll bring you up there as well. There's a nice capture point and some some uh, water there, which we will make the most of. But we'll bring a black knight up side. Move order confirmed. Oh, and uh, a, is that meant to be a? I think a weapon might be coming in to uh, help us secure the facility. Yeah, bring in our own troops. So let's bring the stalker up into water, and our gunslinger. I think we'll move it this way, just cover the alternate flank. Alright, let's see how this goes. Um, Heads up, Commander. Oh. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Alright, incoming transmission. Uh, you're quite persistent, Commander Hobbs. Like a bad rash, I just can't seem to get rid of you. I could crack the obvious joke about that, but that'd just be too easy. What's coming to you is no laughing matter. I've hired a new kill team, Commander. They'll keep you company while my ground crew prepares the Dobra for departure. Well, we've got new heat signatures, Commander. Incoming max. Assault class. Alright, get on our Commander and take him out quick. We need to seize that security complex before the Dobra is cleared to launch. Alright, so where are these guys coming on in? Right. Have a scout with a spider. And it does appear that they're all coming in from... Yeah, this direction. I'm not seeing anybody else, so I think it's only going to be this single land. Uh, but they have a battle master, airplay, a phoenix hawk, spider, and then some 75 ton mech. I'd be guessing maybe an Orion. Ready to get it on. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. All right, let's move on up, and we will take. Hmm. Seem to be a little bit uh, stuck as to potential options. Oh no, never mind, we can get shots on that Battle Master, and that will do us nicely. So let's back up. We're going to enjoy the benefits of standing in some water and keeping nice and cool. So let's make sure we make the absolute most out of this. Full salvo, and we're barely making any heat. Off for the headshot. Come on. Roger. How are we doing? And bam, there she goes. Alright. One left target. Battle Master, straight on at the fight. That's what we want to see. Alright, Phoenix Talk, I'm not concerned about you. We have plenty of armor to go around for whatever you can throw at us. So this is going to be a no-brainer. Reporting. Alright, let's see. Uh, we can go... Hmm. Lots of shots here on that Phoenix Talk, but that's fairly dodgy. Receiving you. Uh, our Nile later. Oops. Awaiting orders. Uh, we might be able to get a salvo out. Hmm. At least we've got decent shots there on that Phoenix Hawk. I guess those uh, TTSs are paying off. You have orders? All right. You know what? I think what we'll do is we're going to reserve, and we're going to let them come to us. We've got the armor. They've got a stack of evasion. If we can get them to move a little slower. We're going to see if we can uh, hit, take advantage of their uh, decrease in velocity so we can make the best What's of our shots. So how are we doing here? We've got 45, 55s, there we are, 85, 70s and 65s. That is what we want. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that Black Knight moving forwards. Moving out. So we're going to go with a precision shot on that Orion. Clearly our first priority. Confirm. And that looks fairly promising. Ooh. Okay, side squad. Reporting. Critical side hit. Also destroyed. Ammo explosion. This thing is on its last legs. Yeah. Wow. We just uh, absolutely took out everything on that Orion. Thought of its kicking ability. All right. Yes, Commander. Dorko, let's roll. Hmm. Where do we shoot? Reporting. Well, Angel, if you move up, you're going to have pretty decent chances. Uh, you know what? I think what we'll do is... Receiving you. 
Oh, we're not going to get eyes on targets if we don't... Oh, maybe if we move all the way back here. You know what? That could be worthwhile. Just send a couple of uh, auto cannon shots against everybody. Yeah. All right. That seems that seems like a decent plan. Let's go multi-target. A, B, and C. All right. So that's one against everybody. Uh, that's wider. Maybe we send. You know what? That Orion might be able to. So we do want to kind of salvage that Orion. I think only that one UAC shot should be enough. The Phoenix Hawk, probably our best bet. So we're going to really send the most against that, see if we can destroy it. Although, uh, maybe we just focus on that weak little spider. You know what? Change my mind. Yeah, we're going to see if we can burn through that spider. Maybe knock out one of its legs. So we have three against A, one against B, and one against C. Knocking on. All right, so shots on target. Uh, Phoenix Hawk taking damage. That's good. And that Orion is being burnt through. Excellent. Right. Commander. Angel, let's go. I think what we do here is we move up into the water. We're going to go multi-target. We're going to send all of our LRMs on that Phoenix Hawk and those lasers against that spider. That seems reasonable to me. Alright, so that thing is not doing well. And that spider is a okay. Well, that's fine. No luck. As long as it's easier to target. Show them what you got. Alright, what have we got here? Spider taking shots back at us. That's no big deal. Uh, what do we want to break? Yes, Commander. Well, if we bring Rannick up over here, I think we'll go... Do we just go ahead and uh, try and headshot that Phoenix Hawk and uh, take out the Orion with somebody else? Yeah, I think that that's probably... Probably the best. You know what? You know what? No, we're going to see if we can go for that headshot. We have the best percentages for our precision strike. So what we'll do is hopefully a lot of these weapons will hit the head. And if not, well, it's going to get caught anyway. So off we go. Oh, look out the leg. Ah, and there it is. Ah, One more for the kill board. So much for salvage. Alright, Phoenix Hawk. How are you doing? Taking out some of those buildings, eh? Probably that not the best idea. Oh, wait, what? Internal? That's not good. Ooh, a couple of points of damage. Huge dirtbags. Alright, well, the good news is we are safe and none of our weapons have been busted up. Uh, but that is inexcusable, so let's bring our Annihilator over here and finish the hooligan off. How dare he do our threat? Yeah, there we go. That'll do it. No way you're surviving that. Go down. Alright, and now everybody else can just Reporting. have a uh, field day at shooting at the spider. Let's go. Yeah, we'll bring the white knight up. We'll go for a precision shot since we can. Up we go. On oh, and that can probably do it. Alright, left inbound commander. We'll be touching down directly. Alright. Well. I think that seems to have done it. Uh, that's done it, Commander. I've gained access to the complex's computers and transferred control to the motherboard. Thank you, Doctor. I have deactivated the spaceport's turrets and engaged the spaceport's docking plan. The dog rev won't be going anywhere without my permission. Hang on a second. I'm getting a call message over an unknown channel. Alman again, I'm sure, but wait. Uh, Mother, this can't be happening. It just can't. Oh, wait, no, that's meant to be, uh, more of an expletive. Whoops. Uh, what is that, my? Who do you have on the line? The Black Widow, that's who. Did I miss something, Commander? When did our search for the Dobrev turn into a meet and greet with Natasha? Uh, with Natasha effing Kerensky. Ah, the Black Widow. Okay. Um, a legendary mech warrior. 
Infamous of Black Widow Company. Let's see. Now this is known by a few things. The mercenary circles, she's commonly considered the most dangerous mech warrior alive. Ooh, both a deadly fighter in and out of the cockpit. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hey, you'd better put her through, Maya. If there's one mech warrior we don't want to leave hanging, the Black Widow is it. And that goes for you too, boss. Better get to the view screen, and you'd better do it now. Mission successful. All right. Well, uh, that's a twist of a turn. The question is, is this who Bowman has hired to take us out? Or is she just here because of uh, because of the nature of what we're chasing after? That is a good question. All right. Well, we're going to need to go ahead and uh, grab some salvage. So let's grab that battle master first and foremost. Most punish is always good. And then I suppose we'll take part of an Orion. And then let's grab... Let's go for parts of the Hunchback. Kind of hard to say no to that. And that should be fine. What else did we get? All right, so we got a full enforcer. That is quite nice. We got a full Hunchback, which is quite nice. And we got three-thirds of a spider as well. Excellent. All right, you know what? That was a fairly decent salvage haul. Considering that we uh, rolled poorly on some of our shots, I think, I think the fact that we got as much as we did is pretty decent. All right, so uh, yeah, we're going to have to debrief that to her. We need to fix up our Marauder. We need to make sure that that thing has armor back on it. Otherwise, uh, we could be in some trouble. Or... It is only two points of struck. So if the armor is fixed, maybe we send out a not perfectly that healthy one. Is cleared for fighting. That All right, is let's ready uh, fight. see what we that can do anyway. That All right. is cleared for fighting. Thank you, Yang. We're going to go ahead and chuck those into storage as we do not need them. And let's see what's happening with our glass too. The high orb. Black Widow. I'm Darius Oliveira. Exo of Leviathan's Marauders. Tell us what you need, and I'll do my best to make it. I called to talk to the commander of Leviathan's Marauders. Not a switchboard operator. Put Hobbs on the screen. Alright, he's down, Black Widow. I'm right here. Uh, good. I don't want this to take any longer than it has to. You've been shadowing the Dobro, trailing it to its every port of call, having friendly chats with the bounty hunter, a man whom I've publicly marked for death. Okay, he isn't our friend. He's a grandstanding fellow who gave us a crate. Uh, but you received that crate. Took it into your ship. You have, you still have what you found inside. Um, let's see. How would you know what we have and haven't been up to, or killed his charge? What is it to you? I think we're just gonna say, uh, yeah. Let's just ask her. What is it to you? Clearly she already knows enough. Now, the contents of that crate don't belong here, and neither does the ship they came from. Dobrev has a history that you can't know, Hobbs. It shouldn't exist, and neither should its payload. That derelict is a problem, and I intend to solve it. Why are you telling us? Because words are cheaper than bullets. But don't mistake my willingness to talk for weakness, Hobbs. Every word from my mouth carries an ultimatum. You'll follow my instructions. If you don't, your company will die. Uh, you know what? Tell us what you want, then. I'm listening. Yeah. Let's, uh, we can still say no at a later date. I want the Bounty Hunter's crate, along with anything else that came from the derelict. The machine intelligence you're babysitting, too. Dump everything to the Bauman Group spaceport. I want it piled near the Dobrev when I arrive. Why? So you can spag it all in one go? That's right, I value efficiency. You've heard my demands, Hobbs. Meet them and you'll escape with your life. Do anything else and you won't. Choice is your. Wow. Uh, anyone know what any of that was about? Not a clue, but her name is Natasha Kerensky. And we're chasing it. General Alexander Kerensky's exodus. That can't be a coincidence, can it? Uh, could she be a descendant of his, perhaps? Yeah, sure, in the same in the same way that everyone named Patel is related to all other Patels, and all the people named Smith live together on a communal farm in Atreus. Yeah, point taken. 
Still, the Dobrev has been floating in the, out in the deep periphery for the past 50 years. Who knows where before that? The Black Widow shouldn't know anything about that ship. Nobody should. None of this matters right now, Doctor. We have a serious problem. If the Black Widow Company reaches the spaceport, there's nothing we can do to keep the Dobrev safe. It's too large a target, and with the docking clamps in place, our derelict will be a sitting duck. Well, then we'll have to disengage the clamps. Get me Dr. Bowman. Ooh. Mars finger rattle across her keyboard, and Dr. Bowman's face swims into focus on your view screen. Calling to Gord Hobbs, or do you intend to demand a ransom for my ship? You won't get it. I already have reinforcements on the way. Uh, we're releasing the docking clamps. Run. I still have material in the spaceport. You will allow my crew to take it aboard the Dobrev before it departs? Anything that isn't on the ship belongs to us now, Bowman. Don't try our patience. Take your ship and run. Uh, okay, apparently that disappears. Two steps forward, two steps back, but at least we've got a shot at scooping up whatever they left at the spaceport. Alright then. I will have to beat the Black Widow there to do it. She'll be eager to destroy whatever contraband Bowman left behind as we are to acquire it. Uh, God help our mech warriors if they have to face off against the Black Widow. Sounds like we need a distraction. Something to peel the angry lady away from her lands. You think your drones will be up to it, Mama Bear? It sounded like the Widow had you on her hit list. She called you out specifically. If you took a swing at her, she'd probably sit up and take notice. Uh, agreed, Chief Botanin. I will do what I can to lure her away from the rest of her company. That's what I like to hear, Mama Bear. Come on, Doc, you're with me. Let's get our salvage team ready for the drop. And Exo, you'd better give our mech warriors the mother of all pep talk. They're gonna need... They're gonna need it. Alright, well. That is uh, gonna be hectic. Let's uh, quickly... Let's see, we could go ahead and take this, but that'll only take us a second. So let's quickly zip to the mech bay. Uh, we're going to assume that it was later in the day that we took on this task. So we're going to quickly hit that repair button. There's really no good reason why we should be going out with any structural damage. So that'll only take us a day. It's fine by me. So we're going to sweep through the night and let the Fatainen fix up that up. Job you asked for, Commander. And then we're going to dive right back in for the second party. So let us continue. I can tell it was right, Commander. So for scans, so... Hmm. We can take it, but we've got to move fast. Okay, so it still seems like it's uh, the same sort of thing. But let's just go ahead and go with part two. It's a base defense. We'll need... What do we want? Oh, I think we'll bring the Black Knight out again. That did fairly well for us. And I think, hmm, you know what, uh, the Stalker is pretty good, and I do like that heat efficiency, although I think, I think we should probably throw Angel on the Annihilator, just so we can make the most of our precision shots here, and see if we can get as much damage as possible, uh, I think that's going to be what's best for us. Yeah, I do think that that is the case. So, let's uh, quickly zip on over and just see what we can do. Now, again, three and a half spells difficulty, so it's uh, not going to be a complete pushover, but at the same time, too, I'm not too concerned. But again, all that it ever takes is a single volley of well-aimed shots, and we are in major, major trouble. Especially if they're shouting AC-20, but we will have to see. Alright, so as soon as that mission debrief pops up, we're going to go ahead and see. Alright, so protect the evacuated spaceport from the Black Widow Company. The Dobrev is gone, but its crew left an undefined amount of valuable contraband behind at the spaceport. Fortunately, the Black Widow wants to melt every piece of scrap of that contraband to slag. The motherboard will draw the Black Widow's attention away from our AO, which should buy Yang and me enough time to ransack the spaceport. We'll be relying on your lands to protect us from anyone else who might come along. Alright, obviously this deployment is going to be a little fraud. It's on us to handle it anyway. Alright then, let's dive on in. Command interface initiated. Alright. Alright, Commander. 
if you have just sat down in front of the Bowman's group abandoned spaceport. Yang, Kara, Yang, and their team should already be inside. Can you confirm, Yang? Yeah, Maya, we're here, but Cole and this, whatever it is, a spaceport, is awfully charitable of you. What we're standing in is a chop shop and a poorly organized one at that. And you better get your team to work. If the rest of our mystery mech is boxed up somewhere in that complex, they'll have limited time to find it. Understood, Exo. For my part, I'm working to crack the encryption on that facility's computers. If that contain information on where the Dobber River is going next, I promise you I will find it. Hate to interrupt, but the party's about to get started down there. I've got a lance of hostile mechs converging on the spaceport. Black Widow herself is nowhere to be seen, so I guess that Yang's let's throw the motorborne drones at her plan is working out. Right, for the time being, it appears to be. That said, I suggest that you engage and destroy her lance mates as quickly as possible. The Black Widow is already inflicting ruinous damage on my combat drones, and I won't be able to keep her occupied forever. Amanda, we need to buy Farrah and Young as much time as possible. Keep the Black Widow company away from that complex. I'll call out any complications as they arise. All right then. Damn. And I forgot my beach chair. Ten rounds we need to protect ourselves for. Uh, we have a Black Knight that could make our way up. I think we'll go. Orders. Let's see. Let's run our annihilator up. First. That seems that. reasonable. You know what? May as well get our Black Knight moving. Have no doubt. It will be done. Stalker can move wherever we wish, and Rennick can mosey on up, and we have an contact. On sensors. Okay, so the quicker we can get these guys, the better. Alright, Blackjack coming on in. Interesting. Good to go. Uh, let's go... You know what? We've actually got some more right shots by the time we do a precision strike. You know what? Let's quickly reserve and see if there's anybody else on the field. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Alright, so they're coming in from a couple of angles. Good to know. But if this is anything like our last one, we'll have dropship pop down here and some other fellows dropping in over there. So we're going to need to uh, handle this efficiently. What's the plan? Uh, we could bring Rabbit in for some precision strike here. In fact, that may not even be a bad call. We've got a good number of a good number of, um, what do we call it, weapons still level, yes, although, Wanda. yeah, and then that could save, I think that's Got stranger, uh, to... we could bring, huh, maybe we can use, uh, Rennick to then pop someone who's hiding further back, you have order? yeah, okay, I think that's what we're going to do, let's bring our Black Knight up forwards Consider first, uh, we're going to take this first precision strike. If not, we can always uh, finish this guy off and get enough resolve for the other. Come on. Stop on target, please. Thank you kindly. That's what we wanted. All right. Mech destroyed. First mech down. There goes any hope for them having indirect fire. And unless that catapult is close enough. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then a 50 ton mech. All right. Let's bring. Ready for orders. Rennick should be able to come on in. We do have enough precision, uh, sorry, enough resolve for precision strike. I think we'll, yeah, let's make the most of that. We cannot afford aye, them aye. to get chopped off on our buildings that we're defending. Uh, let's see, 85, a couple of 90s. Yeah, all right, odds are good. Hopefully we do well enough though. All right, uh, what did we do there? Did you get an injury? I we destroyed a leg. Alright, so that's two injuries. One from the knockdown, one from the cockpit headshot. Alright, and we've softened him up, so Ranger. Commander. Uh, let's get you... Let's get you over here so we can target both mechs, I think. Yeah, we're going to see. What do they have there? They have a hunchback. Ooh. Very toasty hunchback. Okay, let's go... Hmm. You know what? We're probably not going to take out the mech. Let's go with a multi-target. We'll send everything against the hunchback to whittle him down. And then we'll send our medium lasers over there just to uh, maximize our damage output. And, you know, maybe take out one of those pods if possible. Alright, so here we go. 
very solid barrage there. That guy is close to falling over. That's ideal. And I don't know what we accomplished there. Maybe not on center torso. It does seem. Okay. Angel. Ready for orders. Uh, you have the Annihilator. Let's get you ready. Let's get ready for you to focus on whatever that mech is back there. And I think we'll go precision shot here and take out that catapult. We'll make the most of it being on its back. So let's uh, make our way across. Let's go for that headshot. Fire salvo. Come on. Let's do it. Oh. Ah, sent in force. Oh well. Mech destroyed. You know what? Let's At go. least we're keeping everybody safe. Alright. What have we got coming around? We have the hunchback. Alright, that salvo was fairly mediocre. Minimum damage. Honestly. Guys, nothing. I'm okay with that. Let's go. Orders. You know what, Rannick's not gonna get eyes on anything here. Let's go. Let's back on up to a point where we have range on everybody or range on them but uh not enough to yeah that'll get us back within a better defensive position especially if we have reinforcements or take that other flank so let's go ahead and we'll do just that heading out uh we're gonna go precision strike this should be a kill we are going to get a little cozy so let's turn off hmm you know what, we've got some pretty good follow-up, and there's a good chance we could even bust open the torso. You know what, we're going to turn off two of our weapons and uh, see if we can not increase our heat by too much. Alright, off we go. Alright, so we got a pilot injury. That hit something good. We got knocked down as well. Alright. He's probably not going to have much health left. If that's the case, uh, we only need to destroy maybe the side torso for another headshot, and that should be sufficient to get that kill. Uh, let's grab. Oh, they have it. That's all right. Let's go. Is there a position where we can get targeting on both? The answer does appear to be no. Uh. Surely. Oh, we can do this. That would give us. There we are. Okay, so we can get medium lasers on there. We can get both in range. That will. Hmm. Yeah, that will do, I suppose. I'm not sure that our annihilator is going to be able to get shots on that assassin, so that's why we're going this way. We'll focus all of our missiles over there. If we can destroy that side torso, that would also be fine. That should be enough to take him out. Right, enough to incapacitate. So let's fire. Acknowledging multiple targets. Right. Solid damage. Excellent. And that guy, I think that was just some shots to the leg. Oh well. That's going to hurt. Okay. And now our turn again. Let's go with How rabbit. Help? Uh let's see. Now what? That'd be fairly easy. Or, you know what? We could even get shots on that assassin. You know what? We'll go for the assassin first. We'll have Certainly. more weapons to bear on him, and we have the uh, reduction for our resolve cost. So we might as well make the most of it. Firing. Come on. All right, left leg destroyed. Pilot injury. Solid connection on that one. And uh, let's see. Down you go. Alright, we're keeping things relatively safe at this point. Uh, in fact, uh, that guy's practically toast. Alright. Yes, Commander. Uh, Angel. Do we just send our Ultra Auto Cannons at the Hunchback? I think that we do. Let's go. Let's go back as far as we can. Again, just double checking, we do have weapons on target. Just making sure that we are prepared for any other future hostiles. We'll go for that headshot. Off we go. Uh, head destroyed. That's what we wanted. Salvage. Alright, and a then... New sensor trace. Looks oh. like enemy reinforcements. Enemy reinforcements. Which direction are they coming from? 
I do not. Okay, so they could be from back here, or they could be from down there. So let's run. Commander. Uh. Any shot will suffice. You know what? We're going to move. We're going to go make it to the road, I dare say. In fact, uh, we'll take the slightly uh, wider approach just so we can cut that angle a little bit sharper. Uh, we're going to move on up. Coordinates received. And you know what? This guy's toes. I don't think that he's going to survive whatever we hit him with. Yeah, that Gauss rifle does a good 80 damage. We could take out that leg, the center torso, the head. Yeah, I don't think that this guy's surviving. So you know what? We're just going to turn off our weapons. Uh, we're just going to fire that Gauss rifle. I think this should be sufficient. Off you go. Engaging. Yep. And uh, turns out we got that headshot. Left oh, brilliant. All right. Well dialed in today there, Renek. Good job. All right, enemies are moving in. We have contact, I think. Uh, don't tell me where are they? Receiving you. Uh, let's run. Let's run Rennick all the way across here. If we can get eyes on, that would be good. Confirm. Yep, and we have contact. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have angle, but we are somewhat drawing some of their fire. Okay. Opening salvo, taking out that building. That's not good. Please don't have too many PPCs. Uh oh. That looks like that building is in major danger. Alright. Commander. Uh we don't have any one uh anything Affording. we can do here. Let's bring Oh, what do we do? Order. Well we have Ranger and we have that. and then we have our Awaiting Annihilator. Order. You know what? I think all the damage that can be done has been done, so we're going to reserve and race Standing by. our Annihilator forwards. Yeah, and we can at least get eyes on one target. So I suppose that will do. Confirm. We'll run her forwards. And then... Yes, Commander. We can use our LRMs for some indirect fire, which I feel like is probably going to be our best and then yes commander how blackjack can also get shot on i think we're going to try and sprint him into a better location and that'll let him cool down as well so what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to pick up some vigilance here see if we can uh get that ready and we'll go and sprint yeah, I think that should be fine. Have no doubt, it will be done. That'll let him cool down, and then with Order. Ranger, let's move all the way over here. Make sure that we have contact, just in case they do send extras, and we'll fire your LRMs as we see fit. Yeah, so uh, that is going to start with the U. All right, off we go. Fire. All right, some really solid damage there. That's good. That is very good. Uh, they're bailing out. That is ideal. That gives us a turn. We can get... Well, we can get shots on everybody. Yes, if we can tag everybody, which we do have with multi-target. Good. Theoretically. As you wish. Be able to uh, prevent them from firing at anybody else. And would you look at that? That is perfect. Okay, they do have a hunchback, which is the only one accessible with that large bolt. So let's target you. I'm against you, and then we've already fired at the blackjack, so let's fire on the Kintaro. Maybe, uh, let's make sure that these guys can hit C. I think that's not too bad. Uh, we'll send as much as we can against that blackjack, though. It is unarmored, and uh, we might be able to take out one of its auto cannons. So let's fire. Firing. All right, so good shot on target. We have another salvo for that blackjack. Come on. Structure exposed. Darn it. It's going to take out a weapon. And then that Kintaro also should be now focusing on us as well. We'll have to see. All right, black knight. 
taking some damage, but that's okay. We expected this that's to happen. A hard hit there. Uh, in fact, they almost took out that wall. Oh no, they're just doing a little bit. Of that. Okay, well. What's up, boss? Rannick, let's move you forwards, and I think we'll focus. No, you know what? We'll just uh, move on forwards first. Acknowledged. We're now going to go with a precision shot, and we'll go with. Let's see. That auto cannon is a bit of danger, but that punchback is probably far worse. So we're going to go for that headshot. Make sure we are taking him out. We'll fire one. You know what? We're going to fire all weapons. Taking the shot. If we can take it out, we should. All right, right torso is destroyed. Solid connection on that one. You know what? I'm okay with that. That should be all of his weapons are a small laser. So uh, I can accept that as a fair compromise. How's that hunchback doing? Oh, he has one medium laser left. Where is that? Yep, in his left arm. Okay. And then the small laser in the head. All right, well, we didn't get that. Oh, we did get a headshot, but barely. Huh. Commander. Uh, let's see. Our stalker. I think we're just going to move up into cover here. We'll go full salvo against... What do we want? Maybe the uh, punchback? Moving out. Knock him over and get ourselves a free... Actually, he's barely got any weapons anymore. Let's just focus on that blackjack. We'll turn off an LRM just to pull ourselves down a bit this turn. Off you go. Alright, unsteady is what we want. What have we got here? Hunchback? Yep. Single laser. Absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. Alright, let's bring on in Angel. Uh, we're going to go for the... Oh, I think that Kintaro is looking like a very good choice. Although, uh, that Blackjack could also be... You know what? No, we're going to go for the... Yeah, you know what? We're just going to move on up and then make our choices. We have a full Selvo against that Kintaro, which I guess could be our best bet. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Precision Strike. Let's make sure we're making the most of this. This guy's the most untouched. We need... We need to take out some of his weapons. Alright, how did we do? Well, we got that injury. Target's taking a critical hit. Yeah. I was honestly hoping for a kill there, but I guess it is what it is. A couple of autocannon shots on our Annihilator is fine. That thing is armoured for days. Standing by. Let's bring our Marauder. You know what? Maybe we just focus on that blackjack. We've got a pretty good salvo there. Take him out of the running. We're not bothered by that hunchback. Door. Let's, uh... Let's see what we can do. And you know what? We'll bring him closer to the road, just in case we do need to reinforce uh, Ranger there. We'll be a little bit closer to that road to get those movement bonuses. So let's go precision strike. Focus on that blackjack. We do need to turn off... You know what? We'll turn off... Two of our weapons, I suppose. Yeah, we should be pretty good here at taking out some of these weapons. So, here we go. Acknowledged. Right, how did we do? Well, we got that injury. Scored a critical hit. Honestly, I was expecting a little bit better with our damage output and our precision. Yes, that's not going to happen. Again, medium and small laser against our annihilator is uh, not a concern whatsoever. Yes, Commander. Let's bring Rabid. Uh, who do we fire again? I reckon. Oh, uh, let's go. Could do a full salvo against that Kintaro. That would certainly, uh, sort that out. Yeah. Let's, let's, uh, set all of our firepower upon him. That will be fine. Headshot. Here we go. Target acquired and locked in. Okay, so, um. Damn, all right. Getting rid of you. Dial removed. And then let's go. What have we got? Blackjack? Yeah, still only able to hit that side profile. That's what we wanted. 
Honestly, I forgot that they had jump jets, but would have been very surprised if they had made it yes, here by that way. Uh, let's go. Let's turn back around, I suppose. Might as well fire off some Roll LRMs. Back. What are we going to do? Let's go. Hmm. Let's aim for the blackjack. Maybe we can knock it over. Let's fire a full salvo. Yeah, toggling one on and off should keep us just below our heat threshold. Copy that. And that is a five torso destroyed. And oh, what? That guy's still standing? My goodness. That is, uh, that is unexpected. I was truly expecting them to get knocked over. Good to go. Oh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and just open file. Let's go with the... we we'll go for the blackjack. Go for his blackjack. You know what? It really is at this point. Uh, let's focus on... Let's focus on this one. The uh, tactician. Yeah. Let's see if we can uh, remove him from the field. Actually, you know what? This guy's less likely to completely explode, so we're more likely to get the salvage. We'll go for the headshot here. Off you go. Oh, well. Hey, look, at the end of the day, we wanted to remove him from the field, and that's what we did. So maybe not as uh, optimal as we planned, but it will still be sufficient. What I can is that point blank range is a choice to uh, try. I'm showing minor damage. Definitely would have been within their minimum range. Yes, Commander. Uh, let's bring Rannick. Yeah, there we go. We'll uh, focus on that hunchback. Make sure he doesn't get any melee opportunities. Well, let's go with precision strike. Go ahead. Heat wise is efficient. You know what? Let's go for one extra weapon. And center torso is kaput. Target neutralized. All right then. Fine. But uh, we still got two more rounds to hold out. I think we're going to be fine. I don't expect there's going to be any more reinforcements. Uh, we'll turn off one of our LRMs because otherwise we'll be way too toasty. Off you go. And that is it. Okay. Enemy done. All right. Well done. You managed to wipe the op four out. I can do an extract right now. No need to get to our planned LZ. Our stars down for the moment. The AO is clear. Can't imagine it. oh, it'll stay that way for long, though. Otterborn, do you have eyes on Black Widow? Uh, negative, Mr. Oliveira. She's almost certainly on her way to obliterate the space. That's our cue to leave, then. We'll see you in orbit, Commander. We've got a lot to talk about. Mission successful. Okay, well. That's uh, coming along rather nicely. So I'm guessing we're going to have to do another couple of... Uh, Months of hunting for that Doberev once again is a uh, rather slippery sucker, that one. Well, extra 10% for the payout is hilarious and zero, but it is what it is. Nobody got injured, no mechs are busted up. Let's grab ourselves the... I guess we'll take part of the catapult. We'll take part of that Kintaro and finish off one. And then, you know what, we should check for weapons. Another LRM-5. Um, hmm. You know what? That could be nice, but I don't think we need it. Otherwise, we would have already uh, cut that other one on another mech. Let's just grab the salvage. Let's go for the 50 tons. And then, you know what? Uh, we'll grab a... Blackjack as well. And a 1DB. Back. Federated Suns have revised the Blackjack into a dedicated support mode. Hmm. I don't remember seeing one of them before, but apparently uh, they do. So let's uh, grab that as well. And uh, let's see what the RNG gives us. Alright, two parts of an assassin is ideal. That finishes one of them. A Blackjack is completed. Another one is two thirds. Hunchback, uh, sorry, the catapult and that. The majority of the Hunchback is there and then we've finished Kintaro as well. And uh, nothing really to write home about as far as those weapons are concerned. But you know what? That's okay. I'm sure Yang will be happy at all of those extra spare parts. And that will be worth very many sea bills to our coffers when we sell them. 
So I think we'll uh, go ahead and debrief and we'll probably see where that leads. We may have another mission, I'm not 100% sure. So uh, we'll have to see. This again, if uh, if the Black Widow is chasing us, I'm sure we're going to have to stop and defend ourselves at some point that or another. Ready to fight, Commander. That, All right. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. All right, let's chuck those into storage and see what, where we're at. All right, I can't believe it. We went up against the Black Widow Company, Natasha, Kerensky's hand pillars, and survived. Uh, quite a feather in our cap, XO. This win will give us bragging rights throughout the frontier. Yeah, sure, it was a good win, but we couldn't... We wouldn't have anything to brag about if Motherborn's distraction hadn't worked. The Black Widow is the most dangerous Macquarie alive. Full stop. If she's made it to that fight, every one of us would be dead. Well, I still don't get why she wants to wreck the dog rev. It doesn't make any sense. We'll probably never know, but there's one thing we can say for this dirt. If the Black Widow reaches the derelict before we do, this whole enterprise will come crashing down around us. All of us will have all of this will have been for nothing. Well, I don't know if I'd go that far, XO. Me and the doc, we hit the mother load on, in that shipyard. With the Motherborn's help, I think we may be able to make something of those parts the bounty hunter sent us. And by something, I mean an absolute beast of a mat battle mech. Okay, you've got my attention, Yang. What kind of mech are we talking about? I could tell you, but I think we should let Motherborn do the honors. Without its help, we never would have found what we will look at. You still online, Mama Bear? Uh, yes, Chief Batanen. When completed, the re and the rebuilt mech will be an assault class roller in the 95 ton range, with an integrated conventional artillery piece. Oh, that's a hell of a thing. What's it called? The Bull Shark. Interestingly, the insignia on the chassis pieces we found depicts a predatory heron mammal. A wolverine, if I'm not mistaken. A curious choice of heraldry to adorn a battle mech named for a shark. Yes. Uh, doesn't matter, we'll repaint it with our own company's colours before it hits the field. You're looking forward to seeing this mech in action. Okay. Yeah, boss, me too. And speaking of which, I'm going to try and check in on our new baby. You know, get her ready to show off. I will return to standby status, Commander. Please have Dr. Murad bring me back online when you've picked up the Dobarev's trail. Mr. Oliveira, I suggest that you focus your search on the Mantharaka. Judging by the files I was able to recover, I think it's likely the derelict was taken there, though I could not find the exact coordinate. Okay, well we have a planet. Fantastic. Even if it's on Mantharaka, a star system is a big place. We're going to need to narrow down our options and find ourselves some coordinates. I'll put out the feelers again, grease the palms of a few jump ship crews. Maybe somebody's heard something. In the meantime, we should scrounge up more independent work. It'll be a good excuse to field test our new bull shark. Okay, well, a fun new mech is always good to play with. So we have one bull shark. Okay, well, we'll have to test that out. Uh, some more weapons, part of a Jenna cockpit mod. Yeah, that'll do. Um, mech is ready to fight, Commander. All right, so what are we going to get rid of? You know what? I feel like we've got a lot of assault mechs. I think what we'll do here is... Which one's this? I feel like this is Stumpy. Yeah, the range is about average. We do like Stumpy, but I think it may be time to retire him. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, send him to storage, I think. Yeah, okay, so we now have a new mech to look over. Alright, so, what does the bull shark have? Actually, let's just double check. Did we send Stumpy home? Uh, we have our distance and our atlas too. Okay, it was Stumpy. Alright, bull shark, what have we got there? UAC 5, which is modified, and a LB and X, which is also modified. Two ER medium lasers. A thumper cannon, ooh, and another UAC-5 and LB-10X. Okay, well you know what? I think that sounds like a little bit of fun. However, we're gonna go ahead and hit the refit. 
not because we're going to be changing anything, but because I think we can simply upgrade this thing. We're going to let them, we're going to take it out for a spin in a stock configuration, just to get a feel of what it is like, and then I think the modifications will happen from there. So let's grab our ballistic weapons. We're going to zip on down to a, what's that, UAC-5? Yeah, we can do better on the tonnage and uh, better on the recoil. So we'll take two of those and then an LB-10X. We have a couple of those. So let's drop those as well and swing those ones over. Uh, hang on a second. Yeah, LB-10X is extra damage, less tonnage. All right, and that has bought us three tons of space. Now that thumper artillery cannon cannot get popped out. Alrighty, well then, no, let's bring that ammo down into the uh, into the feed. That certainly shouldn't be standing there. We have a couple of double heat sinks. Heat efficiency isn't too bad. Uh, let's go and what do we want? AC five ammo that has. 15 rounds per bin. 30. So we have 15 rounds of ammunition, is what I'm seeing. 15 rounds worth. And then for the LB10X ammo, we have, let's see, our 8 rounds a piece. That's not too bad. We could chuck in an extra ton for good measure. Sure, let's go ahead and throw that ammo on there. That's not going to be a big deal. Let's grab our uh, LB-10X. Yep, pop that on there. So that should give us a total of 8, uh, 12 rounds of uh, full fire, which I think we're going to go ahead and take. Uh, now, what do we have? Two more tons of bits and bobs. Let's grab ourselves... Uh, do we have any room for melees? Five spaces, that's not very good. Let's go with a... Could go with an exchanger if we so desired. Minus 15% on our uh, weapon heat could be good. That would save us quite a uh, chunk of heat. In fact, that'd be, what? At least, what, 15, 18 odd heat that would be saving? Yeah, if we were to chuck that on there... Oh no, we'd be a ton over. Uh, let's go for the basic exchanger. That brings us down to a total of 40 heat per alpha strike. Well, um, hmm. 50 heat, oh, sorry, 40 heat. Let's just check out our uh, double heat sinks just in case. Uh, one ton, three spaces. I'm not sure we can fit any more of those on. Ooh. Yeah, well, that's a cool. What about regular heat sinks? I haven't used some of those in a while. Uh, let's do two of those. Yeah, that barely touches our heat capacity whatsoever. In fact, uh, it's still much worse off. So you know what? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves that exchanger. Even just that base one will help us out a fair bit. And those auto cannons. Honestly, if we're just firing our auto cannons, we're not going to have to worry about the heat generation. It's only because of these ER medium lasers that we're going to be generating that total amount of heat. So I think we should be fine. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and confirm that will take six days, but we will be a lot safe moving that ammo down. And uh, that should be all well and good. Good chunk up its ammo. If it has died. You know what? You know what, for now, uh, we're going to keep it mostly close to its stock loader out. Uh... Yeah, we'll take that cooling. Uh, I think we'll go. We'll maintain the. Uh, we'll keep that extra ammunition in the uh, build for now. Yeah, we're just gonna see how this goes, and uh, we'll see how spongy it is with uh, that armor. Now, one of the things I also want to quickly do before we finish up is our Cyclops here that we have built for SRMs. I think that's rather fun, but I think we've picked up a couple of Infernos. I think we should go ahead and. Maybe go for a, uh, what do we call it? A 50-50. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go ahead and chuck those into this mech. Let's grab one Inferno, two in... Oh, two. 
We're going to chuck these on in there. We're going to have to remove those as well. Factor. Oh, maybe we have more infernos than I thought we had. Oh well. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab those. So it's a mostly uh, inferno y kind of setup. Uh, we definitely don't need two tons of SRM ammo now that we're down to firing 10 SRMs per round. And we've also saved ourselves a ton of space. Now the question is, what do we want to do with that? Well, our heat efficiency has gone through the roof. In fact, uh, that's far more than we need. Let's drop off... Hmm. I was going to say, let's drop off the uh, SRM. But maybe we go... Let's go for some weapons. Let's check out our energy ones. Oh, that's right. Probably have a flamer. Yeah, let's uh, let's throw on a flamer for kicks and giggles. Yeah, that'll bring us up to 90 tons. All in all, fairly much the same sort of mech. Uh, but this time a little bit more spicy. But still doing some damage. And then we'll also go ahead and let's just see. Yeah, let's check on some arm mods as well. They're weightless. So we may as well... Uh, do it while we can. In fact, uh, and stability damage over melee damage. Mm. No, well, that's fine. So, yeah, we're just going to tweak that a little bit. I think that's a little bit of fun. Yes, we're dropping a lot of uh, firepower, but I kind of want to see what we can do with it. And uh, we're having fun at this point, so it doesn't need to be optimal. Right. We'll I'll go ahead and grab that. And then I think we're also going to go ahead and tweak this Battle Master. I'm not a huge fan of these ERP PCs. We're, uh, we're doing fairly nominal damage at range. And so I think what we should do here is we're going to drop them. And let's throw on some snub PPCs. Yeah, they weigh about the same. So let's chuck on the uh, heat reduced versions. Uh, actually, you know what we could do? Yeah, we could chuck two in one arm, and then maybe we could throw in an arm mod. Uh, probably not. Let's just chuck one in either arm. That way, we're not really too worried about things. Our heat efficiency has gone way up, but our damage output is still going to be pretty good, and it will allow us to use all these pulses. So, let's just see. What's our uh, heat sinking is 90. So that's only 20 per turn. Yeah, five full alpha strikes before we overheat is A-OK -okay in my eyes. Let's go ahead and... You know what? Maybe we drop a double heat sink for a better exchanger. That could be worth something to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go ahead and see that. So that's four tons. This is three tons. Let's drop one of these. You know what? Keep the one in the foot. We'll drop one from our torso. We'll drop our exchanger there. Let's chuck this one on there. So that would be... From netting 20 to still netting 20, it's the same either way. But you know what? With the exchanger, that will do better in more hostile environments. So I think that that is a fair trade. Let's go ahead and confirm that as well. And I think that that is probably where we're going to go ahead and pull things for today. We have a couple of contracts that we're going to need to do. I think we'll probably find something around here. Uh, maybe just boost up our reputation with pirates and then we will uh, keep on flying around through some black markets Try and get ourselves some even more coveted equipment If you do want to see that be sure to hit that subscribe button It is the best way to catch all future content and I'll see you next time So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove This is the Leviathan, signing out